What's up, superstars? Back with another video. You got Superstar Rob and you got Superstar Nation. How you guys doing? Uh, 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 oh man, beating me up every single day. If you haven't already, don't forget become a superstar. Smash the subscribe button. Join the superstar fam. Hit the bell, bell notification button to get every single video. Every single day, we do not miss. We're here for you every single day. Also, thank you to our superstar VIPs. The super duper rares are finally showed up. It's two ninety nine a month. That means for two whole years. These supporters have been with us, supporting our channel, continuous members, uh, and we got to do something for you guys. Joe and I haven't decided yet exactly what we're going to do, but we got to do something for you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Also, we are here every single day. You can reach out to us on X, Instagram, or Discord. Our Discord is the place to be. Our Discord has all of our, our, our gifts. We're running all kind of gift promotions through there. If you use any of our links, make sure you guys go to our links. Let us know that you use them, and at the end of the month, we're going to add you stars to the Superstar Utility Program. And, of course... Now that we can, we're going to be giving away a lot of cryptoids, I think, again uh, this month. We love doing it. Uh, now that we have self-custody, um, interoperability, um, and yeah, I'm going to do a crypto video today, guys, because I got I to gotta talk a little bit about uh, first, second, third, you know, et cetera, additions, okay? Uh, and cryptoids, we haven't realized it yet because we haven't seen it in action. There's a lot going on with cryptoids. Cryptoids still has to build up their gamification. We haven't really seen the gamification in action. But Cryptoys has plans on running second editions of their collectibles. And the gamification component is going to be a really important part of what's going to differentiate the, between first editions and second editions. So first of all, just to check up here on Flipside Crypto, shout out Diamond for putting this together. We have fifty over 56,000 Cryptoys gross sales, uh, over 2,000 sold, average price of 27. So this seems to be what the data is showing us right now. You have a steady, steady linear use, meaning that it looks like cumulatively, at least, people continuously are using the uh, third-party marketplace uh, to do their transactions. Now, we know that the in-house marketplace is not ready yet. So naturally, anybody who wants to trade has to use that. Uh, and we'll continue to watch and see how the dynamics of this change when there's an in-house. Uh, but this is very, very cool when you take a look at this. Um, and it's this is an hourly chart. This is pretty cool. How it's based on the hour. Um, but yeah, like the flip side crypto again, this is through, through diamond. You can you guys follow him on X and you, you can, you can let, get this data as well. Um, and people are buying right now. They're trading their, their, for these first editions. They're all hero tier. Cryptoids has different tiers for their collectibles and the hero tier is the highest tier. And there's something called the statometer and the statometer is like a power. We don't exactly know yet. I mean, we have this here, which I can open up. We don't exactly know yet how this is going to fully function, but they do talk a little bit about it. And it says rarity and tier levels influence a crypto's total statometer strength. This determines how efficient your character is at earning valuable in-game rewards. And you can see here, hero tier, automatic five. And then that's added to the rarity. Uh, and here's an example of how it looks, right? See that? So very good. Very, very cool. So if you have a hero tier, you're obviously going to be a minimum of five. And then depending on the rarity, you could be as maximum um, of, I guess, 12, right? So we know this is in play. Now look what they have to say about second editions. They said once vaulting event concludes and first editions are removed from inventory, it opens the opportunity for second editions. I don't know if you guys can see this. Let's just zoom in a bit more. There you go. It says quantities. Second editions are double the amount of first edition. So, for example, ZooFO, 10,000 first editions. The second edition will be 20,000. There'll be no Ultra Grails. So, Ultra Grails can only be obtained in the first edition. And the statometer meter will change. So, even as all second edition hero characters will have the same statometer meter of four, right? So, the fact that it's a second edition means that it will be impacted. Because if you go back to this one, and you look up hero, this is a hero level of five. So it automatically receives one point down in power because it's a second edition. So this, this article was updated just a month ago. Obviously, they're thinking of doing this. Maybe they're thinking of doing this sooner than we think. Um, but it doesn't really, I think, matter at this point until they have gamification rolled out. Because people may actually care at that point and say, okay, well, I, I'm going to use a second edition because... There's more mints of those. Uh, maybe they personally feel that it's an easier barrier to entry and they can actually collect more of them and they want to use them in games. So these second characters, even though they're a bit weaker, they may be easier to acquire. And I think this is where you're going to start seeing this dynamic now between 
um, you know, first editions and second editions. In the meantime, I don't think it matters. If they do release second editions, like let's say there's a second edition UFO, I'm not really sure that people are going to be so hot about it on the onset, just because there's no reason for them to go and start collecting those. Like they may do it for fun, but without the gamification aspect, they may be happy going to the DTE and picking up a UFO there. Although there's not that many of them. Uh, we've been picking them up, a lot of commons and uncommons. Um, but if second editions come into play, I think it's going to really change what people think about these first editions. Because right now, that's all we have. People are just used to it because this is all they have. As time goes on and they start seeing second editions, maybe they'll change their mind. If you do second editions, I think without the gamification aspect of this, it really doesn't do anything to differentiate the two. Like, if they roll this out right now and they don't have an application to actually use it in, people are going to be like, well, like, this is just a second edition. Like, I already have the first edition. Like, why would I go for the second edition? And I think that's why crypto is, if they're preparing for this, they should also be preparing for gamification and get that out first, I think, before they do this one now. We are ambassadors on this channel, but we don't have inside scoop on this. We know exactly what you know, all public information. So uh, I'm totally guessing here that Cryptoids is going to wait to release gamification before they do the second editions, but it's still possible that they will just roll it out because whether they roll it out or not, like it doesn't hurt them. And like if they decided to roll out second editions without having gamification rolled out on the roadmap, oh well, it just sits and waits until they eventually get gamification, gamification and people start seeing, oh, maybe I want to go for the second edition now because I want to play this game and I can't get the UFOs anymore through vaulting. I don't want to go to the DTE and buy it there. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and, and go for one of the holocrons of the ZUFOs on the second edition one. So I think you can have some pretty cool, interesting dynamics. And it's going to be a lot of fun. Like what Cryptos is doing is really exciting. Um, I love how they have this whole stat meter aspect to it. This whole in-game rewards that if you have a strong character, he's going to be able or she's going to be able to help you uh, get in-game rewards, which are great. Uh, that's, that's kind of like the play to earn aspect of it. I really like that part of cryptoids where the characters, you can actually play games, put them to work and get more in game rewards. People love that. People love playing games for rewards. And these rewards are going to be items. They may be characters. They may be built. They could be all kinds of different things that they've mentioned on the roadmap, which can then at that point be traded in for another character or in our case, maybe it could even be given away, right? Maybe it could be gifted, right? So there's a lot of applications that will come from second editions and also uh, from the platform using this earn uh, this play to earn model. Um, and what we'll see, like the statometer right now, like it's there, but nobody really talks too much about it. We know it's there. We know gamification is coming. But I feel like for those who are not in depth, like they don't actually follow crypto as closely, they probably don't know much about the statometer. Nobody really talks about it and they're not even looking at it. They're seeing these things right now as just like these digital collectibles. They don't even see them as digital toys because the games aren't here yet. I really think people, especially those who are not committed like we are, you know, tracking cryptos daily. I think those people, they need to see the next step of delivery on the gamification side to fully understand where they're going with this project and where they're going with these digital toys. Despite having this great roadmap, I'm not sure how many people who are in this space, but not in cryptoids have actually spent any time to go through it. Uh, Cause if they did, I think they would, they would see that this is a project that has everything that they want. Um, so I think that when cryptos eventually delivers on their AR map on their, on their uh, iOS app and Android app, um, and then games will come with that, right? We know there's gonna be mini games that come with that. Um, and then we they also have the web platform, which, we know that they've sh they've shown sneak peeks of these pretty cool games, kind of open world jumping around obstacle courses. We know there's going to be buildings that you can do passive gaming, right? But that stashing is still only in phase two development. We're not there yet in the phase three development. So there's a lot of things coming. And I think as, as the months go on, crypto is going to slowly transform itself. And by 2025, it may not be recognizable anymore because we're going to be dealing with a, a, a brand new platform, basically, that has all kinds of things that we haven't seen. Just like the DTE came in and it has a way of trading with interoperability, self-custody, and third-party marketplace that we just haven't seen before in this space. So I'm very excited for them to do that as well with the items as and the games. And this is the whole point of crypto is from the day one, when, you, when we AMA will, if you go into the roadmap, they say, we want to be the future of gaming. And I think this is where people are losing sight. 
when we talk about crypto is, is that there's so much more than just a digital collectible. They are going to be so much more than that. They have been designed from day one to be a digital toy, and it's going to be very interesting. So, guys, let me know in the comments below. Like, what do you guys think? Uh, what do you guys think about Cryptoids and the uh, Statometer? What do you guys think about Cryptoids and the second editions and how this is going to transform the platform? What's going to happen? How are people going to receive second editions? I want to hear your comments below. Also, guys, before you go, don't forget, become a superstar. Smash the subscribe button. Join the superstar fam. And hit the bell notification to get every single video. Every single day. We do not miss. We're here for you every single day. Thank you, guys. Our, your, your VIPs are so amazing. Thank you all for watching. But VIPs, you guys are another level. The way that you guys support us. Thank you so much. Guys, take care. We'll see you next one. Bye-bye.